Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jesse. Today we're going to be going over what I believe is the 2022 Woodcutter's Guide. Stick around uh, till the end and I got some bonus stuff that I'm going to throw in. Uh, what else I think would help. Um, so what I got here is my chainsaw. It's a MS-461. And then I have a MS-271. This is a pro saw. And this is a homeowner saw. This thing is considered, uh, I think they call it a farm boss. Um, the 461, it has a uh, three-quarter wrap handle that I put on myself. It did not have it before. Um, I think I paid 150 bucks for it. And I, I got some uh, bigger dogs on it as well. It's got a 32-inch light bar that we can show off right here. This thing is just too heavy to be carrying around all day. Uh, it's really made, or really I use it to just cut down trees and buck them and stuff. And I just got this MS-271 a few weeks ago. Uh, I like it so far, I haven't used it much. Uh, just cut up a little bit of firewood uh, that I featured on uh, another video. I'll, uh, I'll put a link to that in the description but it's just a, a farm boss homeowner saw it has an 18 inch bar on it um, the nice thing about this Husqvarna um, gas can is the uh, I'm tired of the child safety lock cans this thing all you do is press it down into the uh, um, gas tank and it fills it up and when it gets full it stops I have noticed though it does have an issue where when the tank gets warm in here uh, it, it creates a lot of vapor and expands and it will just spray the gas everywhere so make sure before you do anything you just grab it and let all the uh, vapor escape first and then you won't have any issues and it do, did come with this style of uh, of cap for the uh, spout for the uh, the oil as well but I uh, opted to um, use just the normal pour style I guess you could flop that over if you just wanted to pour your gas in but this thing is sufficient enough I, I really enjoy it so next water you need to carry water with you uh, you'll get dehydrated and splitting wood and stuff just keep some water with you make sure everybody knows where it's at if they're helping you and I just put it in a hydro flask it's green it's easy to see I ended up buying this uh, uh, different cap for it all you do is twist it and you can drink right out of the uh, spout there you can see it'll pour out I think I have the uh, other one laying over here with me maybe not oh yeah it's over here off camera That's the original one that came with it. Um, I didn't much care for it because I would spill the water all over me. And then I have this Mingo firewood marker. Um, when I bought it, it's this uh, wheel. They sell different sizes. Uh, it's set up for 16 inches, how I usually uh, want to split my firewood at. Um, sorry, this thing's falling. So. Uh, yeah, I got some green paint in it. Green's my favorite color. Um, that's just personal preference, but beside the point, uh, this thing works really great. It saves me a lot of time. I'm really anal about my uh, firewood size, and I don't know. It just personal preference. Next, I got the Grizzly Peak uh, Enterprises uh, axe scabbard and wedge holder. This thing's nice. I seen it on a Wrangler Star video and gave them a call and they were really helpful. Um, I bought everything here myself. Uh, nothing has been given to me to try to sell you guys or anything like that. Uh, I have this steel uh, 
woodcutter's hatchet, I think, or something like that. I, I got it at Real King. It was like 35 bucks. It is uh, beyond dull when you get it. I spent probably three hours trying to get it sharp, and it it is uh, pretty sharp. It'll cut you if you're not careful now. And I just got three steel wedges in there with that. We'll go over this in, in a different frame. I, I just have everything that I keep with me for uh, keeping everything running. I'll set that aside for now. Got this uh, hook room. This thing is amazing. It, it's a back saver. You can go through and pick up logs, small log rounds and stuff, anything that you could drag, it'll hold on to. Um, little pieces of firewood that's on the ground, you could just grab it with it and go. It's, it's super easy. So what we have next is my Husqvarna um, splitting axe. This thing's pretty lightweight, uh, or yeah, pretty light to swing. Uh, you don't get too fatigued swinging on it. Um, every now and again, you'll need to bring a wedge out and pound it with a sledgehammer or get you a maul out if it's uh, too knotty or too wet. But this thing uh, won't wear you out. And it's uh, hand, hand forged in Sweden. I really, uh, really like it. It's, it has a good temper to it. It holds an edge. Um, I was using a tire last year and I hit the uh, uh, steel belt that was inside it um, along the bead. And it did put a little nick in it. I had to file out, but that's not a big deal. I learned my lesson. Uh, next time I'll cut all the, uh, the bead off the tire before I use it. And last but not least, we have the uh, Steel Pro Mark chaps. Uh, these are the wraparound Pro Marks. They're really hot to use in the summertime. Uh, I try to do all my splitting in the winter, but this year I was uh, pretty busy with a house remodel and working. I didn't get around to it. Um, yeah, it, it'll save your leg. I, I really enjoy these things. They're nice. They're. I think uh, Wrangler Star did a video on these. Uh, with uh, a set from Amazon. Uh, these things totally outperformed uh, the Amazon pair. That's what uh, got me to buy them. So we'll go over the next thing that I have. Uh, before I got my tractor, I used uh, a cant hook and uh, a pivy. I bought both. What we have next is the Stuff that I have in my little husky red bag it, it keeps it nice and neat and keeps it from flying around everywhere but got a uh, uh, sharpie in there for marking the teeth what I'm gonna file got extra files um, extra flat file there these are specialty files for the uh, steel uh, I think they call it a three-in-one uh, filing system these things are not a gimmick they're they're amazing they'll file your rake rakers down and uh, your chain at the same time uh, I use this thing right here to clean the uh, bars out uh, every every few uh, sharpenings on the chains you want to uh, clean all the all the junk and stuff that's in the groove of the bar then I have an extra elasto start handle. This one's a used one. I took off a saw. Um, that's invaluable if if you break a pull cord or whatnot in the woods. Got a uh, scrunch tool and then another scrunch tool. But this this thing has the T27. If I ever have to replace a screw or if I have a screw backing out on me. That thing's really handy, and it also has a different size uh, um, nut driver on it. Got some various screws and stuff that, if, if I do lose one, I'm I'm not out of the woods per se. I run AMS Oil Saber um, two-stroke oil. This stuff is really great. I believe in it. Um, I haven't had any problems out of my saws, and I've been using it for a few years. 
next an extra 32 inch chain uh, that's usually what I run on my 461 and then another 18 inch chain uh, for the 271 I just picked that 271 up uh, a few weeks ago and I uh, featured it in uh, one of my videos trying it out uh, it's not a bad saw it's pretty light um, it's, it's better than carrying around that 461 all day then I got some extra spark plugs they're brand new you don't want to reuse spark plugs they have a little crush washer on them and uh, it can cause a air leak in your saw and then extra bar nuts to put a couple in there just in case I lose one you, you drop one or something and then uh, let's move on you need water this is a hydro flask and I got a uh, I had to buy another lid for it because I figured out that they are terrible to try to take off this lid and drink I spill it everywhere I don't know if that's just uh, operator error but it was worth the investment for the extra lid so what we have next is a cant hook and a pivy these things are very useful for rolling logs uh, they're a great back saver uh, don't don't buy a cheap one spend the money and buy these steel pivies and cant hooks you don't have to buy both they have I think a long handle a short handle um, I'm I'm six foot tall and I prefer to have a longer handle and I have more leverage that way I'll throw some footage in of me rolling some logs uh, I, I have a couple over here that are kind of oblong and stuff like that we'll we'll see what they could do all right guys like i promised the bonus footage for the ultimate woodcutter's guide we got the john deere 2038r it don't have to be this tractor it just be any of them that can pick up a log that way you don't have to use your back and then we're going to cut with the 461 and use the mingo firewood marker to show you how it works Like I said, they be third. Thank you guys that concludes the 2022 ultimate woodcutters guide if you've enjoyed today's video please hit that like button and subscribe for more content just like this i do a little bit of everything i'm going to be doing a garden video i'm going to be doing some goat videos just anything i'm doing around the homestead i'm going to take you guys along with me and let me know down in the comments what you've liked what you don't like and I will make videos accordingly. Thank you.